Oh, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to our Bionicle review, and this one's on uh, on Liwa Nuva and also Kopaka Nuva from 2002. So on the front of the manual entry, which only one I have for Liwa Nuva, but let me bring it up. And the large Bionicle logo, Liwa Nuva, on there with his Toa Nuva symbol, and also fun fact: these. Uh, little symbols here were also reused in uh, 2016 of Generation 2 here on all the Toa Uniter sets, of course. Well, let's see. Picture of Liwa getting his air katanas out about to fly up and all. And then set number 8567 has Lego logo, of course. It's from page which, which is all the Toa Nuva emerging from the Proto Dermis. And also on the back side is like all the different colored masks to collect and bonnacle.com, of course. And then also one half of the uh, combination model, or otherwise Tonuva Kaita uh, builds that uh, And then also out of all, all five other Tonuva, well, Tahu and Gali, which I did review previously, and also, Onua Hatu, which will be next next throwback Thursdays. But also, you get a few simple instructions of how to customize a uh, Liwa here, of course. So, first off is of Liwa himself, or Liwa Nuva himself. Well, obviously, kind of an impressive upgrade from the original. Uh, 2001 Liwa, like a lot of the same color scheme and like the other Toa Nuva, this wave with plenty of silver on them. As for the light fill, which same foot pieces as all the Toa Mata sets on the but, well, in his case, is the same green color as the original 2001 version did. And also have the Toa Nuva light pieces, but in lime green. Which is kind of fitting to him, obviously. And as for the uh, uh, torso piece, which, if you like, take this armor part off, the nice to see it's just the same exact kind of Toa Mata body piece as well. Same body piece as all the Toamats and Toanuvas all had. But of course, the improvement is this armor piece, which for the Toanuva sets only, of which seen in silver, but all the other sets of which did see this in other colors, of course. And like, put this on like so. It does go quite firmly around him. <coughs> and as for the arms of which, Still using those uh, armor, these shoulder armor pieces, which were also used on other things in other colors, obviously. And also throughout the Toa Nuva sets. And as for the arms, which are comp comprised of mostly the same exact pieces that uh, Liwa Mata also had, but to kind of use for the arms instead of legs, of course. And as the hands in which regular hand connector pieces in regular green. And also these neat uh, katana blades. These which were quite used often throughout the line. But however, in this case, are his main weapons. And now, as you would recall in the Mask of Light movie, where he would get these blades out and put them on his near his feet for him to fly. Like twin thigh Yeah. And that's about it there. And now onto the mask here. As as you see, quite an improvement over the Original Tomata Liwa. But of course, it has these like five extra uh, fin parts kind of sticking outwards and also a tooth like mouth on there. 
but although if you noticed in the Mask of Light movie, it which has kind of a lower jaw kind of section, so at least, so not only sign of the massive smile form that it would have had, and that's for the head build of which, uh, same pieces as the original Tomamata Liwa also did. Oh, also, these newer mask pieces, not all the mask codes used on them like the previous year did, but oh well. And as for the back side of which, it is like all the other years, completely exposed from the back. But the only thing to see is the gear functioning, so of course. And well, in this case, you can like turn it like so. But, oh, also to mention is for the feet of which, that it also in the Mask of Light movie, he which did have some like uh, toe claw kind of pieces, and it's kind of sticking onto it. But on this actual set, it doesn't have that. But, but although, of course, this uh, which is what he his movie version was based off of, but I guess they just did it just for the film, but whatever. And also, as for his dual action ability, which the other Tony sets has, where he can take the other katana and make a double blade, obviously. But also, these uh, wing blades here, also reminiscent on the which, just like the, uh, fan, or the, both this mask piece, kind of like the Fantoka Mystica Lee was, well, that was included with Accelera T9 set in 2008, and also the sword piece, also like that of Fantoka Lee was in 2008, also 2008, but also both versions of Lee were in, uh, Generation 2, obviously, but however, that one, which did have, a uh, Key Torridge instead of bright green, in 2016, Lima did have translucent green, obviously, but at least the lime green was kind of fair for him for the time, but yeah. And that's about it with Liwa Nuva. And finally, oh, whoops, on to Kopaka Nuva. Well, as you can see, like the rest of the Towa Nuva, a little bit extra bulky, like the than the original Mata forms. In his case, almost as much. <coughs> so starting out with the legs, which all the same as the rest of the Toa Nuva is, of course. But however, and if you notice on the feet parts are the little studded rods or stud plus rods on here, but that of which is what we'll do with one of the features of it, which I'll go over later. And then as for the uh, body piece, which with the chest plate off, same exact body piece as all the rest of the Toabata Toaduva set, it's all dinned, but with this armor piece over. And as for the armor which same exact piece as Kopakamata had for a leg, but also used for an arm. And also does have these two uh, uh, ice blade kind of or blade pieces, but in these two different directions. But going in two different directions, of course. And as for the other arm of which, also same exact arm piece as uh, Tohamata Kopaka also did, but also but holding the shield piece, which is just a traditional system disc piece, of uh, course, but can kind of spin like the other did, but not as much. But also, if you but if you noticed in the Mask of Light movie, he which did have this piece for both of the arms, but which I think also could have worked out for this set, but we you need it. And then as for the mask piece, or just this mask piece here, which as you can see, 
This does look kind of bit similar to the original uh, 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 Mata's mask, of course, but at least a little bit more wire and more organic. You know? And of course, the one scope eye as well. And also the eye sock piece, still blue, like the previous one. And the whole backside, quite exposed like throughout the other years. But, and of course, same exact gear function as the end all the Toa have. Where you can switch up and down like so. So now, here's a little comparison of him with the original 2001 uh, uh, Kopaka Mata version, kind of, which, as you can see, the, the shield piece of which does have quite the gaps in it, but the other has, is all solid, you know? and of course, one arm piece actually swapped spots for that, and, the eye, and of course, the scope eye, which has just one scope for that, but the other had three for that. But although for the 2008 Fantoka version, Kopaka did have the kind of swap spots, kind of resembling a Nuju Metru, of course. And also the mask was not at all any gappiness to it like the original did. And although the gear functions may be kind of bit the same, but at least good to work around it. And also the gear function, which also reminiscent of 2015 Generation 2 version Kopaka, uh, of course, and also where the mask design carried on and on to it, yeah. Uh, also, I forgot to say that this mask piece, also quite kind of reminiscent of 2016 Kopaka, uh, 2016 Kopaka and Melon Unity set, also, but of course on that version you can like put a stud on it, but this one doesn't do so. So for his dual action ability is where you can take these ice blades off, take pull these rods out from the sides of his feet, so take these blades and slide them on well onto the third hole, or third hole here. In there. And like in his little video, can like ski around the ski and skate around the ice part so, of Kokoro, of course. And so now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think these are which are quite cool sets for both for the time and kind of it now. Well, like the Manuva consistent, uh, which good consistent color scheme, well, good consistent color scheme of both of them, even if they're the same as the previous 2001 Toamata versions, of course. But of course, the uh, silver that all the Toamanuva had, a good extra splash to them. So, even though the silver in the weapons makes it kind of, which makes it, them stand out a bit other than colorful weapons that the previous versions did. And although, whereas for the Lewis function, kind of question, kind of an odd choice of that, although I'm sure some of y'all can kind of improve, make a second ability of that yourself, but yeah. But also, and of course these which, and, they, and also their appearances in the Mask of Light movie, which is quite good for how they were. Well, especially Lee was with a uh, fast talking speak impediment. Uh, and of course, and Kopaka's also a little speech impediment, but yeah. <coughs> and so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some great memories of them. Or great memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say. Definitely get them eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.